Hi, this is Joe Justice, former Tesla employee. I'm here at SpaceX in Boca Chica, Texas. And you can see behind me three Starship rockets and one booster. They're being built, designed and built with a different design each, approximately once per month. Now the Starship program is independent from the booster program. They're like their own business. They're, they're not dependent, waiting on each other. They have a known stable interface to mate so they can be evolving at different rates. In fact, they are. The boosters are on a slower schedule than the Starships. Now, the Raptor engines are on a separate development entirely, but they're shared by both. They're installed in both. So Raptor is run like its own company, like a supplier, but wholly owned by SpaceX. Now, the tank internal sections with the dome headers are common across the booster and the Starship, and they're made again by an independent work stream, so there's no waiting. As long as the interface inside the booster and the Starship stays consistent, the domes and the internal tanks are able to be built on an entirely separate cadence. This is the advantage of SpaceX agility and a speed in rocketry never seen before in the modern world.